Going into the last round of attacks, guys. <laughs> it is 12 to 12. Looking at average attack duration. It is the exact same. Welcome back, ladies and clashers, to the next OP match. Today in the Iron Cove, we got Boom Academy again versus Limerence. Let's see who's going to be victorious in this one. Early Super Archer blimp here from Limerence. Ooh, there was a lot of traps, but he still has Super Archer's alive. Gets the Town all, pulls the Tornado Trap. Partial CC pool. Should be able to get the Monolith here, ideally. Maybe not. Maybe yes. A lot of headhunters, a lot of super minions, does get the monolith. Okay. Alright. Sweet. <laughs> super barbarians, couple balloons to funnel. I'm just gonna send a smash in over here on the right side of the base. Warden with a rage gem. Sweet. Got one free spell left over. Got. Root Riders, an Ice Golem, and an E-Titan. I like that. Bringing one E-Titan in the mix is always good here. <laughs> King popping ability early because he got locked onto by a lot of stuff. Still holding on to this Warden ability. Being super patient with it. Root Riders trying to bust through the walls. Super Barbarians on the top side of the base. We gotta go get that Eagle Artillery. We're probably gonna send the Champion up there. Probably. Root Riders gonna bust through the middle section here. Still holding on to this Warden ability. Did he wait too long for the Warden ability? I don't know. I don't know. There goes a champion on the upper side. Expo locks on the Phoenix because it's on air mode. That actually might be good for the champion. To stay at full health, moving through the top section of the base here. We freeze the enemy Archer Queen. That's all he hit with the freeze. Kind of a wonky freeze. Pop the Queen ability on offense. She'll take out the Inferno Tower. She'll take out the enemy Queen. This might just be up to the champion to finish off the base. Can she get it done? Maybe with the Spirit Fox. It might be possible. We got two more Super Barbs to help out. We got the Royal Champ ability. We're going to have to fight the King, though. We sent a Super Barb. We got a Headhunter. <laughs> uh, I think he might get it. She goes invisible again. Finishes off the scatter shot. We still have her ability. Woo! Come on, come on, come on. Pop it right there. Boom. Hit every single defense. Archer on the right. I would just use the Super Barb and the Headhunter on the King. Or use it over there. That works too. Either way, as long as he uses the Headhunter, he should be fine. There's the Headhunter. Everybody going for the King. Headhunter slows him down by quite a bit, and there's plenty of time to get the last two buildings. It's going to be a three-star. Down goes Meow's base, and Limerence start this match off with a triple. Meow is in. His base just got absolutely wrecked. And by wrecked, I mean barely tripled. But uh, let's see what he can do on offense. He's got Lalo, but with a Root Rider and a Yeti. And a clone spell. Okay. Balloons. Grand Warden. Early Battle Blimp. Headhunter is in for the Queen. Blimp to the core. And Super Archer. That's Super Wizards. Giant Bomb. <gasps> Small Bomb. <gasps> oh, he lost almost all of them. He still has two. Three. They get the Town Hall. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Warden is in the invis doing some damage as well. Can he get... Oh my gosh, he helps out. What a G. What a G. <laughs> How about that? Down goes the Ice Golem. Warden finishes everything off there that he needed to get. Still has a bunch of spells left over. Yeti up top. Cool. Warden and Owl trying to finish off the CC building. Here we go. Queen, Ice Golem, Root Rider. We're going to use the King there as well. Dude, this Warden is actually going to pick up the Eagle. That's insane. Beautiful value. Root Rider busting open some walls. King is in there as well. Owl still trying to get a few buildings. Super Barbarian to help funnel. Two Headhunters on the Barbarian King. We can pop the King ability. He's got a giant gauntlet. We're chilling. We don't have the Warden to help with the Lalo, so it's got to be really clean. Although there's not much splash left. So we're, we're chilling, bro. We're chilling. 
Got the skeleton spell, but RC hops the wall. Tello tests the farm. We got balloons for all of them. Then the headhunters. Let's go. Headhunters in for the champion. Queen still at full health with ability. We got an invid. No, we got two freezes, a haste. We got royal champion with the diggy on the left side of the base. This is crushed. This is absolutely crushed. Meow with the OP attack. The OP attack. Diggy stuns. We get through the expo. We get through the ricochet cannon. Haste, freeze. Didn't even need him. Could have swagged all those spells. Get through the bottom section of the base. Plenty of time for cleanup. It's a three star. And Boom Academy start this one off. Ha! With a three star. GG's. Nice attack there, Mr. Meow. Sanya. Some queen charge root riders. Perhaps. Where to start? Hello, Teslas. Trying to use a flame flinger over here, I think. Might need one more balloon. Yep, there it is. Okay. <laughs> flame flinger, but what about the mortar? How do you distract? Archer, archer. Drop a barb. Queen on the top. Sure, that worked. Healer's on the queen. She chillin'. Uh, this expo might be awkward, though. Rage on the queen. Wall break toward the town hall. Baby dragon on the top side. Queen takes out the enemy champion. I'm trying to keep an eye on this flinger. I don't know if it actually gets the scatter shot or not because of that expo. Hmm. Kokaloon not really going inside. That one kind of does. Rage the Queen again. She'll be okay for now. He will get the scatter shot. Alright, cool. And Root Riders from the left. There's a lot of troll Teslas on this base. Flame Flinger gonna go down now. What's in it? Off the Warden ability with a healing tome. King on the bottom side of the base. Going in for the enemy king for the Eagle Artillery. Yeti's out of the Flame Flinger. Queen still chilling on the top side of the base. CC troops going to a Root Rider. That's interesting. King takes out the eagle. That's nice, at least. Uh, we're smashing through the left side of the base, but he's going to get stuck on ice golems here in a second. We freeze the monolith. Queen's still chilling. She's vibing. Going to get the upper multi. Dude, these root riders, though, they're smashing through the core. Look at that. Look at that. Pops the RC ability for fun points. 69 seconds left on the clock. Two extra spells that I think he can swag. Jeez. The healing tome there actually was pretty good. I think it healed up those root riders through the middle section of the base. He's only got two left, but they stayed alive a lot longer than they would have without it. Swag two spells, another three star for Limerence. They showed up to play. Pressure on Boom Academy now. Boom Academy with their second attack. More root riders, because why not? Why the heck not? We're going with an RC trick. Oh boy, these guys love their RC tricks. I love them too. Invisible. Rage upon. Fox goes invisible. Then an invis spell. He pulls the skeleton traps away with an archer. Fox goes invisible. He's timing everything perfectly. Then an invis spell. Imagine he gets the, they get the town hall again. Giant bomb. Fox goes invisible. That's a lot of traps though. They're already low on health. Is it worth raging again? We're just dipping out. He dropped that invis right away. I think he lost track of when the fox is going invisible. And the fox is dead. Recall, brother. Oh my gosh. Rip the fox. Queen on the right side of the base. Rage Jim on the Grand Warden. My cats are going crazy in the background. Everything else is classic. Cool, cool, cool. Rage gems, a nice touch here. We do have eight root riders. That is a lot. Siege barracks at six o'clock. Queen E Titan finally get through that ice golem. Look at the time on the clock, though. This took a long freaking time to set up. It could be a problem. King here on the bottom side. Got a couple of witches down south, but they might get targeted early. Not sure. Skeleton spell on the left. All right, Root Riders busting through the walls. Queen should have pathing to the town hall. The rest of the Root Riders kind of going to the lower section here. We're going to rage. 
We're in pop warren ability. Kinda early there. Alright, alright, alright. Queen can get the town hall, that's no big deal. Champions in on the left side, redeployed. Cool, cool, but we don't have the spirit fox. We got the town hall with the queen ability. Tornado trap spinning her in circles. The root riders cruising through the lower section of the base. King's still alive. We pop his ability, he's got the giant gauntlet. He's probably got the glitch now where he's invincible for 20 seconds. Super barbs along the top side of the base. Minions on the backside cannon. We got 35 seconds for cleanup. We got a free spell left over. It's crushed. It's crushed. Wowzers. Freeze up top for fun points. And he's got 20 seconds left over. Wow. GG's. David is in for Limerence. Can they go 3 for 3 and make the score 6 to 9? That would be fun. A lot of balloons early. Grand Ward with a healing tome. The only thing I don't like about this is the 10 balloons he dropped right away died right away because he doesn't have life gym. LOL. So that healing tome basically gets zero value. Super Archers, Double Clone, Invis, Rage, Hello Tornado Trap. That's awkward. He's going to lose a couple Super Archers because of that. Invis Tower goes off. Oh, there's Super Miners on defense. Imagine that Super Miner blew up right now. It doesn't. Wow. Okay. They get the scatter shot on the left. They get the Town Hall. Coolio. They blew up the core of the base. Warden Owl getting a Ricochet Cannon for free as well. Nice. King Queen. E Titan. Or Root Riders on the right side of the base. Warden still getting value. One wall break so Queen can sideswipe the scatter shot. Warden still going to get an extra defense. Jeez. King going up and around. Root Riders is kind of busting through walls here. Oh my gosh, he even got the air defense. Takes the seeking air mine to the face. Lol. Couple Super Barbs. Royal Champion with the Spirit Fox here on the bottom side of the base. We got Super Barbs and a Headhunter to help fight the Queen. Nice. Queen's going to dip out while the Root Riders walk right through the walls. Royal Champion still chilling with the Spirit Fox. This should be crushed. Should be crushed, but we gotta wait and see. King popping ability here. Can fight the enemy king. We got one more headhunter left over. Might as well use it up there. Or he doesn't care. Super Barb's on the left. Baby Dragon's in. Royal Champion still vibing with the Spirit Fox and ability. Queen has ability at full health with the Unicorns. is absolutely destroyed. Off the Seeking Shield. Down goes the Wizard Tower. Down goes the Inferno Tower. Down goes the Cannon. Down go this guy's hopes and dreams of a defense today. Because David absolutely smashed this base. And the score is now 6-9. Nice. Boom Academy with some Lalo. A lot of lightning spells. Got an Inferno Tower, Rage Tower, Multi Archer Tower, X Bow. Good value there. Queen, Headhunter, Super Barbs on the left. Wall Break on the upper side. Cool. Another Super Barb. Get that cannon out of the way. King is in as well as a second Wall Breaker. He's even got a third Wall Breaker. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> do, 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 do. Didn't already be able to deploy that third wall breaker. There it goes. King and queen will make their way inside. Looking pretty good. Pretty spicy. Here come CC troops. We pop the king ability. Poison spell deployed. He might have... Uh, he's got the giant gauntlet, so it doesn't really matter. King's going to wake up the Town Hall. We'll take it out. Queen might have to pop ability there. She does. We get the Town Hall. We'll fight the Ice Golems. Don't think we're going to get any of those scatter shots with the Queen. But we send the Champion with the Fox on the top side. Start the Lalo. Got a Skeleton Spell in the mix. Here we go with the big Lalo. Here we go. When do we pop the Warden ability? Ooh, he let those Headhunters die before he popped the Warden ability. It doesn't matter. They probably wouldn't have lived long enough anyway. We got the standard stuff on the Warden. One more Lava Helm on the bottom side of the base here. Champion in the core. We do have a lot of spells. Pop her ability. She goes invisible with the Fox. Might need a freeze on that multi. He goes with the Invis first. That was a Stone Slammer in the mix. Last haste spell deployed. We got two freezes. Looking pretty decent. Freeze the Queen, the Expo, Combo Wombo. Last group of balloons on the bottom side of the base here. We get swag the last freeze. This is Rick. Bro, neither one of these teams wants to fail. This is insane. That was a simple but beautiful plan from Boom Academy. <laughs> How about that? Spirit Fox, Royal Champion still alive, Warden Owl still alive, Dragon Rider, more balloons out of the Stone Slammer, almost a full minute left over. Jeez. 
Grisha is in for Limerence. Both teams, three for three. I'm trying hard to jinx them all. Are we going to have a fail? I don't know. These teams are just destroying bases left and right. Flame Flinger on the top side. Do we have a Skelly Bat Donut here? I feel like the answer is yes. We'll see. Flame Flinger going to get several things on the top side of the base. A couple of balloons on the left side. And here we go with the Skelly Bat Donut. Is this the same donut that Anarchia did in the last match? I think it might be. The ricochet cannon get the cc all right all right cool wait is this the exact same plant no it's not because we got root riders this time but that's like the same flinger gonna be able to get well it might not get the second multi on this one queen high school on the bottom side of the base all right all right all right being over on the left maybe the queen will just stay on the outside the king will go in for the town hall i think that's the plan you better have a headhunter two is good Valkyrie with the king. Ooh, here we go. We will keep walking on the right. Expo locks on the king. Eagle artillery. And we're just going to go ahead and start with the root riders. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody's in. King pathing well. Off the warden ability early. He's got a healing tome there. Okay. Everything else is pretty standard. Headhunter in for the enemy Royal Champion. Yes, but shooting kind of slow. Ooh. Royal Champion can finish her off. King pops ability. Spinning around in the Tornado Trap. Queen might have to pop ability on the Multi Archer Tower. King should be able to finish off the Town Hall still. Flame Flinger still flinging. Trying to get that Ricochet Cannon. The King gets the Town Hall here. Maybe the Root Riders don't have to path through the Giga Poison. Or maybe they still will as they go down for the Expo. Skeleton Trap takes out the Flame Flinger. Rocket Blooms Dragon Rider can hopefully take out the Inferno Tower. We kind of have to walk through the Giga Poison a little bit. Some of the troops do, but it's not that bad. We got another Rage. We got another Freeze. We got a Royal Champ ability. Still got the Spirit Fox alive. There's the last Freeze. Good Freeze there. Hitting the Archer Queen in three defenses. Dragon Rider taking out the Expo. This is crushed, bro. Oh my gosh. These teams are full of gamers. This base is wrecked. Look how many Root Riders he has alive. I can't even count them. There's so many on top of each other. I think it's six. Wow. Boom Academy are in with their fourth attack. Another triple needed here to keep things tied up. Let's see if Queen Charge Root Riders will get it done against a toxic ring base like this. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to walk around the other side. He might. He chose not to funnel at all. But the base is symmetric, so it doesn't really matter, except that this will take just a little bit more time. Let Queen walk all the way back around. You gonna try to battle bloom? Is that what the balloons are for? He is, okay. Alright. Battle blimp, probably a Yeti Bomb. Do we dare rage it up? Yes, we do. Do you want the eagle? Pulls the CC troops. Apprentice Warden with a Queen Charge. King in on the top side of the base. He used a Yeti over there to help funnel the King pathing. Yeti Bomb over here. Takes out the Eagle Artillery and the Warden Statue. And gets the CC pool. Okay, okay. This is looking decent. Queen not getting this Wizard Tower might mess up the King pathing though. Ugh. King's going to come all the way over here and fight Ice Golems. I don't think that's what he wanted. He wanted King to go up. Oh, no. King goes back around that way. Wow. Then the wall break over here allows Queen just perfect pathing, dude. Wow. This is looking decent. Rage up the Queen and the healer. She's still going to take so much damage. We got Warden with Rage Gym. Root Riders on the left side of the base. Royal Champion with Spirit Fox. Queen slowly making her way toward the Town Hall. So many defenses there. We might need to pop her ability anyway. And we do. All right. When do we pop the Warden ability on the left? He's chilling for now. Rage Gym helping the Root Riders do extra damage. He sends a couple of Headhunters. Popping the Warden ability there. Queen's still vibing. Ooh, she's barely alive. Jeez. Invis her. Get some damage off of her. We still got two Freezes that we can deploy here. One in on the back side of the base. Everybody's skipping that Expo. Never mind. The Queen will get it. Root Riders still moving south. Freeze one more time. Yes, sir. Tornado Trap's spinning, but we're looking pretty decent. Archer's on the right side. Queen's still alive. Champion goes invisible again. Two Root Riders still alive. They might die, but it doesn't matter. We got the heroes left over that can take out the rest of the buildings. A beautiful plan from Boom Academy yet again.
and wow going into the last round of attacks guys <laughs> it is 12 to 12 looking at average attack duration it is the exact same two minutes and 22 seconds on both sides limerence with their final attack and we got to pay attention to how much time is left on the clock here if he triples because we are perfectly tied on average attack duration like perfectly tied so however fast this triples the last attacker has to triple faster than that that's crazy wake zaps it's a lalo attack which generally isn't that fast but some people can make it fast you just got to be quick with the sui and do not wait to start the lalo king in for the town hall queen deployed on the top side with a root rider all right king's got the gauntlet i assume yes queen's chilling everything else is classic you just need to send these heroes in and just start the lalo right away my guy you got to be quick with this triple but you also got to make sure you do triple and not fail there's a little bit of a balancing act there king takes the town hall ice golem headhunter gets a couple shots off before dying in the multi archer tower king gonna end up pulling cc troops we do have a poison spell it's a Lava Hound, two Headhunters, the Royal Champion with the Spirit Fox. Is he recreating the attack that Anarchia did in the last match? I think he is. Queen Pops ability, gets the multi Archer Tower, Spirit Fox goes invisible again. We start the Lala from the right side. It's the same attack Anarchia did. We need to take out that Headhunter though. I think last time the Royal Champion stayed alive much longer as well. Drops the Poison Spell, Lala in on the right side. Headhunters, another Lava Hound. Pop the Warren ability. Boom. You still have a Stone Slammer. He needs to be quick with it, bro. Make sure you get your cleanup minions down. The Electric Owl is going to end up popping the Lava Hound. This could get a little wonky. Freeze on the multi again. Ooh. He didn't get any pathing to the scatter shot, bro. The Warren gets targeted early. And the multi stays up. Oh, this could be a big problem. He freezes it. He hastes. He rages. He freezes oh that rage is getting swagged right now though that rage is getting swagged big time no balloon is in it he's out of spells now dragon rider inferno dragon out of the stone slammer i feel like he's still gonna get away with this but let's keep an eye on the clock Ooh, it's close bro it's actually so close but he's gonna get it dragon rider up top he's trying to make sure the lava hound does not pop that could be a problem if it does we need some some troops into the middle oh this is getting a little slow all of a sudden he pops the hound big rip big rip that's gonna kill even more of his cleanup including the minion that's on the building over here <gasps> dragon rider struggling we send a couple archers oh bro the time is getting so low could he actually time fail this or is he okay Boom, he gets the building on the bottom side. Get the CC building. Still got to go up for the storage. 17 seconds. Warren goes up for this collector. 99%. Come on. Come on, minions. Hurry up. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7 seconds to spare. It's a 3-star, which is important. But it's a slow 3-star. That means almost any 3-star from Boom Academy could win it. Boom Academy with the final attack of the match. And pressure is on. Because even though he doesn't need a fast triple to win, he must triple. And that's enough pressure already. He's going with the Spirit Fox Royal Champion trick here. He has to three star in order for his team to win. Got to fight the king right away. And we are with the Super Barb to help out. Super Barb on the left, Super Barb on the top. All right, we're trying a Royal Champion trick with Invis, with Spirit Fox. All this junk over here by the Ego Artillery and Rage Tower section. There's an invis spell. There's the first rage. Sweet. Spirit Fox invisible. Then we invis. Hello, skeleton. Crap. He pulls it away. Spirit Fox invisible. Then we invis. Nice timing. Another skeleton trap. We're okay. Spirit Fox invisible. Then we invis. Spirit Fox invisible. Woo. And we invis. Oh, the Spirit Fox is going to die to the giant bomb. That's a rip. Get that multi and then recall, 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 recall. Woo. The ability went off. 
It's a little awkward. She might not get too much value later. We got a Rage Gem on the Warden. Everything else classic. E-Titan, Queen, Warden. Fight the Ice Golems here on the left side of the base. She got so much value, though. Archer's on the top side. Able to get some stuff up there. Cool, cool, cool. If he actually triples with, like, only five seconds left, Boom Academy's actually going to lose. Remember, the guy before this had seven seconds left. So, time is actually a big issue right now. There's only a minute and 15 left on the clock. Root Riders are in. Siege Barracks on the bottom side. Queen going for the Town Hall perfectly. Apprentice Warden with the Root Riders. Rage Tower right there. Queen get the Town Hall with her ability. Yes, yes, yes. Skeleton Spell on the right. Another Root Rider over there. Another Root Rider way over at 3 o'clock. 60 seconds left. We invis the Queen to keep her alive. We're going to Rage. We're going to pop Warden ability there. All right. We still have the Royal Champion to redeploy. He's got Witches out of the... Siege Barracks, sure. Giant Gauntlet going off. Where do we use the champion? We redeploy her on the top side, trying to help with time. All right, all right, all right. We got to fight this enemy champion. Do we have any more Headhunters? We don't. 35 seconds. He's looking good for the three-star. We're going to have a perfect tie. 15 to 15. Is this the first one we've seen in a tournament at Town Hall 16? And look at the time left on the clock. Over 20 seconds to that was spare. Legitness. Boom Academy, get it done. Perfect 15 to 15 and time in favor of Boom Academy. They're moving on.